Okay, I'm gonna plug in my mouse real quick. It'll be easier to play this with it. I'm gonna need a mouse. Should I turn the anti-aliasing up to three? I don't know what that means necessarily, but it sounds good. Well, when I put it on freaking full screen, the wind, the whole window doesn't even show up. It's like blocking part of my... Here, let me just screen cap it to you. I don't know why it's doing this. Here. It does that on that resolution. I don't know why. I can't even see the whole window. It's basically full screen, but covering part of the window. Because of... Wow, why are you screaming at me? I'm excited to play this. I mean, the graphics prob aren't really the best anyway. This game's from like 2010. Bruh, you didn't even mean to scream at me. <laughs> Funny, okay. Scoop is screaming at me, I'm crying and shaking. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, resolution could be higher, but it's whatever. Graphics aren't, like, amazing anyway. Like, you can tell the, ga the game aged a little bit, but... For what it is, it's fine. Okay, who's excited for Back to the Future, the game? Episode 1. I don't know how far I'll get in this. Probably playing for, like... Two hours or something. Um, let me just get my mouse pad. Where is my mouse pad? Where is my mouse pad? Okay. Hold up, everybody. Looking for a mouse pad. Here it is. The Epic Mario Render Mouse Pad. Okay. Yeah, it's, pre it's pretty based. I got it for Christmas. I mean, it looks nice, so. Got like a polygonal Mario pissing render. It's the Mario pissing render. Time to take a piss. Okay. Or just the... He is just... He is just standing there right there. Whatever you prefer to call it. I'm gonna put the game a little louder. Yeah, sure. Why not? Let's see notifications when Marty has a new goal. Okay, everybody. Time for the cinema experience we've all been waiting for. Telltale Games. Back to the future. Alright, I'm ready. Oh, that, that's good. Okay. That's I'm Dr. Emmett Brown. I'm standing on the parking lot. Oh my god. At Twin Pines Mall. It's Saturday morning, October 26th, 1985, 1 18 a.m. And this is temporal experiment number one. Yeah, Christopher I Lloyd. That's base. Get in there. That a boy. In you go. Get down. Get your seatbelt on. You didn't get That's Michael it. J. Fox, oh, but I mean, oh, okay. he's Please too old, so. I guess it might have not kind of been weird anyway. Got it? Right, check, Doc. Good. Have a good trip, Einstein. Watch your head. You got that thing hooked up to the car? Watch this. Yeah, okay. Got it. We're about to see some serious shit, guys. Not me. The car. The car. Yeah, it is Christopher Lloyd, guys. If my calculations are correct, when this baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. Ah, right, we're gonna see some serious shit, boys. Let's go. What's 
watch this, watch yeah, this. Yeah, they just didn't get Michael J. Fox other than a cameo later. Oh, okay, uh... Yeah, you just did a great Einstein. Uh, what did I tell you? 88 miles per hour! Miles per hour! Temporal displacement occurred at exactly 1.20 a.m. and zero seconds! Hot Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ, Doc, he disintegrated Einstein. Calm down, Marty. The I sound of life for my, Marty isn't too bad, though. The structure of both Einstein and the car are completely intact. Where the hell are they? The appropriate question is, when the hell are they? You see, Einstein has just become the world's first time traveler. I sent him into the future. Actually, hold up. Let me get a correct lack for this, maybe. Okay. Into the future to I be exact. Him, then. And at precisely 1.21 a.m. and zero seconds, we shall catch up with him and the time machine. What are you talking about? You build a time machine out of DeLorean? You put your dog in a time... Obviously, that's the correct answer. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Doc. Are you telling me that you built a time machine out of a DeLorean? way I see it, if you're going to build a time machine into a car, why not do it in some style? Besides, the stainless steel construction made the flush dispersal... Look out! As you can see, they changed the name. It's not J.C. Penny, it's J.C. Piney. It's, you know, copyright stuff. It's kind of funny, uh, though. Doc? I mean, it fits. Oh, that's peculiar. Uh, where's the car, Doc? It should have caught up with us. 27 seconds ago. Doc, uh, what happened to Einstein? No need for concern. It's probably just a minor miscalibration of the time circuits. Marty, could you get my notebook? It should be in the toolbox. Okay, now here's the game part. You kind of, It's basically one of those point and click things. Which kind of works for the story, so it's like whatevs fun, cool stuff. Um, I can talk to Doc. Yeah, it is pretty cool. I mean, you mostly play it for the story, but like, I like Let's interacting with stuff. Marty. Go to the toolbox and get that notebook. Yeah, definitely. Already, this is the best one. Three minutes in, everyone. Not all Telltale games are like big hits, but this is like one of my favorites. Like, one of the best licensed games, in my opinion. This is awesome. It feels like a true I've sequel to box. Back to the Future. Don't touch that! It's plutonium! But, uh, it plutonium? How do you think I generated 1.21 gigawatts of power? Notebook. Notebook. Got it. Flux capacitor? That's it! What the heck's a flux capacitor? My latest invention. The thing that makes time travel possible. In this notebook, I've detailed the nearly three decades of scientific breakthroughs necessary to build a working time machine. If it ever fell into the wrong hands, the consequences could be catastrophic. Let's see. It's mass equals I times Z, and E equals the square root of Z times C squared, and the flux dispersal... Doc, uh, something's way off here. Doc is fucking dead. Doc, come back! Doc! Oh my god. Doc! Marty. 
Marty? Is everything okay? Yeah, Mom, I... It was, it was just a nightmare. Uh, I was in the past, and Doc was there. Well, you're safe and sound now. Back in good old 1986. But you'd better get up. 1986, boys. For you. Huh? Weren't you going to meet him over at Doc's? Holy crap, I'm late. Yo. I don't know, honestly. Like, I don't hear a lot of people talking about it these days, but basically, like, most Back to the Future fans, like, know about it, I think. So. It's like an underrated Telltale Games classic right here. Before they hit it big with Walking Dead, there was this game, man. Wait, did my freaking. Oh, wait, no. I thought my. And yeah, they actually got Bob Gale to help with the story, so. That's awesome. Dad! Are we too late to stop the... sale? Better late than never. You wouldn't believe how much rare stuff there is back here. That's Doc's stuff. In like 2010. No right now, to. son, so I know um, you're upset. 25th anniversary, I think. Your been gone for months, and the city really yeah. seems hell-bent on using his land for that new parking garage. And hey, is that a first edition Jules Verne? It's just not fair. This game's like really These old now. can't get any worse. Hey, Marty. Hi, Biff. Hey, Marty. Come to see if the old crackpot had any buried treasure? Nah, I guess I'm... Got my voice mod for Biff. Remembering. I guess they didn't bother too much, because... Um, George isn't really in many of these games, because of other, you know, so maybe they didn't, like, bother getting it the best sound alike, I don't know. Yeah, in the original release, they didn't have the, the real Biff voice, but they got him for the 25th anniversary edition, so, I mean, 30th anniversary edition, which I got a mod for, because they didn't release the HD version, on freaking Steam for some reason, so I'm stuck with this version. But it's fine, it still looks good, so not complaining too much. I also heard the HD version had some bugs, I don't know. Select items around the okay. Lab to make sure a doc didn't leave anything dangerous lying around. Hey, let me Now Biff, leave Marty alone. This is a very emotional time for him. Oh, sure. G sorry, Marty. 2010. I don't I don't know if you can hear me really well though. Tess, is it is the game too loud? Tess. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was released for the 20th 25th Back to the Future Anniversary. Okay, good. Hey! Biff? Uh, sorry! Ah, oh, crap. How do I skip this? Oh, okay, never mind. I miss Einstein. Where's Einstein? Einstein! I wonder why Doc didn't take any of these with him. Yeah, they're, they are pretty neat, I will say. Okay, wait. I'm just gonna put the mic next to me so there isn't, like, echo on the voices or anything. Test. Test. Okay, that's too loud. Test. 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 
Test. Test. Okay, there. It's next to me. It should be too loud. I just want to be able to mute it easily, so it's right here on my lap. Test. Okay. Okay, it's working. I just want to talk to George. Hey, Dad. Who's running this sale anyway? Oh, that'd be me, son. You? Why? Well, once it became apparent that the bank was going through with the sale, I volunteered to oversee it in order to make sure that Doc's stuff would be treated with a modicum of respect. Isn't that right, Biff? You got it, Mr. McFly. Bruh. I'm telling you, this sale is a joke. Doc's only been gone for a few months, and I happen to know... Yes, you've told us he's not dead. He's on a trip. Let's say you're right. Have you considered that this trip may not have been entirely voluntary? I hate to say it, but Doc's run up some pretty sizable debts around town. Maybe he's just hiding from his creditors. I can't believe Doc is dead, guys. What's Biff doing here? He wasn't a friend of Doc's. It's a public sale, Marty. Everyone's allowed. <laughs> Even Biff. You got Doc wrong. Sure, maybe he's not so good with money. That, that's just because his mind's always on bigger things. But he's still a straight-up guy. He'd never run away from his problems. Well, you know him better than I do, son. But the bank is within its rights to sell off his stuff. Maybe you should try to find some things to remember him by before Biff grabs them all. You got Doc wrong. Sure, maybe he's not so good with money. That, that's just because his mind's always... Well, you know him. Maybe you should try to find... About Biff. Dad, I, I know you're trying to help. It's pretty sad. He talks a big game, son, but he's not so tough. I've been dealing with him a long time. Believe me. I can handle him. So can I. I guess you can. Okay, son. I'll stay out of your way. But you know where to find me. Do you think dreams can predict the future? Well, you know I don't go in for that mystical stuff. But I do think they can reflect how you're feeling about the future. George sounds familiar. What did you dream? Oh, just <laughs> weird Up the stuff. Voice. Yeah, about Doc. Well, that's understandable, don't you think? I guess, but I feel like it was telling me something. I'll keep looking around. Thanks, Dad. Jennifer liked that. She's into old stuff. Aren't there supposed to be subtitles? Let me just, like, check the settings. Oh, yeah, I don't have them on for some reason. That'll make it a little easier. Oh, yeah, I can just save it in time. Bruh, autosave look like, looks like it's part of the freaking sentence. Autosave, it's been months since anyone has heard from Doc Brown. He's voiced by Michael X. Somers, um, George, who voiced, um, Alex and some other guy in Street Fighter 3. So, I guess that's cool. A fish tank? I never knew Doc raised fish. Doc's fish had weird taste and decor. I kind of like Doc.
Dennis Einstein. I'd better stick around. Doc might have left something important behind. And he wouldn't want it to end up at Biff's place. Looks like a hand crank lightning rod, or maybe a lightning powered pencil sharpener. Doc built this model at Downtown Hill Valley way back in 1955. The clock tower in the courthouse even works. What the? Is that Doc's notebook in there? Hey, that looks just like the courthouse. You gotta hand it to the old coot. He was good with his hands. Uh, Biff, uh, can, can I see that a minute? This would look great in my fish tank. Give the old carp something new to nibble on. Bruh. Can I see that model courthouse for just a second? I need to get something out of it. Like what? A not guilty verdict? That was a joke. Oh. But really, can I? Nah, I think I'll hold on to it. Give it here, Biff. Well, well, look at what we have here. Looks like plans for something. What's a flux catheter? It's none of your business. Doc asked me Brown's to... worm food, kid. But this looks like it might be worth something. <laughs> I don't even want to go to this part of the game yet. I need to go back. Back to the past. I wanted to do more dialogue with Biff. Capo. I can just skip the dialogue though, so it's it's all good. Okay, we're back over here. Wait. Did it freeze? Game? Wait. What the? The heck? Okay. Froze for a second. Okay, let's talk to him. Hey, Biff. Oh, hi, Marty. Oh, hi, Marty. Bro, that's the same energy as... Hello, Mario. What are you doing here? Well, I was as bummed as anybody to hear that the old nutcase had kicked it. He's not. But I'm not above picking through the remains. You know what they say. Don't look a gift horse in the butt. Doc's not dead, you know. He's still around. Oh, really? Do you see him around here? If it freezes, it's because I'm tabbing out of the window. It's kind of like with, um... The emulators. I'm looking for something, uh, in particular. Yeah? Something valuable? Uh... I'm looking for something, uh, in particular. Yeah? Something valuable? Uh... I'm looking for... Yeah? Uh... Bruh, skipping around is kind of funny. You can make your own YGP. Doc's not... Oh, really? Doc's not... Oh, uh, really? Never mind. Hey, let me try, Marty. Now, Biff, let Marty have his turn. Uh, you got it, Mr. McFly. I like how he's a freaking goon to George now. It's so funny. Feels like that was a lifetime ago. Actually, I guess it was. Feels like that was a lifetime Hope that wasn't poison gas or anything. I'll probably never know what this is for.
I can't believe everyone is going to be poisoned. We're, we're done, boys. Pack it up. Oh, it's the amplifier. It took me forever to repair this thing after I blew it out last time, and now some jerk's gonna pick it up for pennies. Okay, I wanna, I wanna check out all of Doc's stuff first, man. That's what I do with this game. Gotta see what witty dialogue Marty has to say for it, man. It's funny stuff. Okay, I'll get the notebook. Doc built this model of... Come on, I saw it first. Eh, I guess you're right. But I picked it up for... Give it here, Biff. Well, well, look at what... Looks like plans for something. It's... Seems kind of empty without the courthouse. By the way, I know exactly what to do. Enough of that junk. Now, Biff. Sorry, Marty. Exactly. I got. I gotta. I gotta get my full worth of this game. I gotta see everything Marty has to say, man, before I do what I actually need to do. Because I'm gonna miss all this fun dialogue. Seems kind of empty without the court. Without the court. Okay. Um. Well, this isn't gonna do Feels anything. Feels like that was a lifetime ago. Oh, okay. That didn't work. We have to poison him. I'll probably never know what this is. We have to poison him, boys. Nah. I know exactly what to do, though. Yo! Well, they kind of made it obvious. But, here it is. Let's make some noise. Yo! Yo! About to crank this shit up! Ennies. It took me for Ennies. It took me for Ennies. He's dead. You Order. I'll keep looking around. No, I have to keep talking to him. Hey, Dad? Sorry. Wait. I'll keep looking around. Thanks, Dad. Hey. I'll keep looking around. Bruh. Hey, Dad. I am so annoying. I'm telling you. Yes, he not until. I'll keep. Ah, God. Hey, I'll keep looking. I have to see if he has anything new to say. Hey, Dad. Hey, Dad. Oh, here. That notebook is Doc's legacy. I've got an obligation to protect it. Now, hold on a minute. Didn't you just get done telling me Doc's still around? Off traveling somewhere? Yeah. Then yes. how is it your obligation to protect his legacy? You can't have it both ways, Marty. If Doc's alive, he can protect his own legacy. Do you think... Well, future. That was rude, George. I'm I'm going to sue. Nah. Bro, I have to try everything now. I don't think so. Maybe not. Not sure what that. 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 Bro, why is it cutting off? That's not Biff's voice line. It only does that with Biff's lines, I thought. Not sure what that. <laughs> I have to try everything. I'll probably never know what this. Oh god. Oh, I have a photo of George. Here, I'll, I'm gonna show it to Biff. I don't think that picture's gonna do anything but confuse people. Good. It must confuse everyone. <laughs> I don't wanna. 
Wait, he said something. I don't want to mess up my picture of dad like that. How? I'll probably never know. I'll prob. <laughs> I am so annoying. I don't want to mess up. Okay, he says that no matter what. What if we show the guitar to Biff though? Not sure what that. Okay, he's not sure. Not sure. He's not sure. Okay, fine. Where's all the funny dialogue? Imagine if I showed the guitar to Biff and he's like, "What the hell is this?" Okay. Nah. Wow, I want to show George's picture to George. Look. Nah. That's you, man. Okay, fine. He literally just says nah. And books it. Let's go. Here's an oldie, but a goodie. One, two, three. <laughs> hey, look. It's Chuck Butthead. Chuck Butthead. I have to add that into me Dye as an alias. Now, Biff, I think that's Marty's guitar. Oh, gosh. You're right, Mr. McFly. Oh, here you go, Marty. Let's hear a few lit. Okay, I'm gonna... I have to remember that. Man, you kids have ruined rock and roll. Wait, I think I have to put it higher. Now that is a dangerous amp. I better not crank it up anymore. I really don't want to blow this thing out again. Wait, what? And now, something your kids are really gonna like. Oh, okay. Thanks for warming them up for me, butthead. Let's go. Biff, I thought I told you not to take my son's guitar. Oh, right. Uh, sure thing, Mr. McFly. Uh, I was just warming them up for you, Marty. Let's see what you got. Let's go. Man, you kids have ruined rock and roll. What? I thought that... Okay, wait. What am I supposed to do? I thought I... Better not crank it up. I thought I had to raise the amplifier... Oh wait, did the notebook fall? Where is it? Where is the notebook? I thought it, he just picks it up in like a cutscene, and then that's it. I think I'm doing something wrong. Now that... I'm not gonna look at hints though. I, I want I want to figure it out myself, man. Hey, Biff. I just can't let you keep that notebook. It's dangerous. What is it set to explode or something? Well, uh, in a way. I'll take my chances. It's just a notebook with Doc's scribblings. What did Doc ever accomplish? Wow. Nothing. That's that worth. worthless, right? If it was really worthless, you wouldn't want it so bad. You wouldn't want it so bad. That notebook wouldn't mean anything to you. You wouldn't even understand what's in it. You calling me? Dang it. I want to hear him say ignorant. You calling me? I'll pay you for it. How much? Um... Not enough. Ah, uh, never mind. Wait, I think I need to get something else. Yeah, well, uh, I, I have to support my grandma. It's tough. That video is so funny, man. Um, honestly, I kind of forgot what to do, actually. I thought I had to do something with the freaking thing, and that was it. Suggestions, boys.
Could I do the hints? Wait, I thought I already did that. Oh. Okay, then. Well, good thing I... Um, the game's freezing again. Come on, game. Okay. He's dead. About this, he talks. I guess you can't. I'll keep. Okay, so I have to get permission to kick his ass. That's what they're telling me here. I better not crank it up. Um, no. Bruh, you insulted my epic PC, man? What does it mean, downstroke? Now that it's just an old game, man. It's just an old game. Oh, wait. You want to hear a number by Biff and the Biff Tones? Always oh, happy to play for my adoring. By adoring. Oh, bruh, I just had to do that again. Now watch me blow the lid off. Whatever you say. Blow the lid off. Dang, I wish the whole dialogue would play. <laughs> Better than having the fake back. Back on, Biff. Oh, shit. Bruh, we kicked his ass. Uh, Doc, where are you? Yo. Yo. We're ready for an adventure now, boys. Yo. Wait, the time machine is back. I thought it was destroyed. In, in 19, 1889 or wherever, or 1885. Why is there another time machine? Honestly, I forget the answer to this question, but I think they answer it later. I don't know. But the time machine is back, I guess. So we shall see. Time machine has returned. Let's go. Um, actually, let's leave the time machine. Who cares? Who, who cares about some dumb time machine? Let's, let's leave. Aw. Oh. Dang. After all the trouble I went through getting this thing, there's no way I'm letting it out of my sight. Bruh, come on. I, 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 I like clicking stuff. It's like when I played Pajama Sam, okay? I keep this picture of my dad to remind me that even the most hopeless losers can grow up to be pretty cool guys. After all the trouble I went through getting this thing, there's no way I'm letting it out of my sight. This notebook has all of Doc's plans for the flux capacitor and the DeLorean. I'd better make sure it never falls into the wrong hands. And by wrong hands, I mostly mean Biff. Yeah, I took like two hours to be tech exactly. Doc? I have a total of like six hours on this first episode, so on my original playtime. Also I haven't played this in six years actually. Come from boy, didn't you bring Doc with you? Hey man, don't get mad. I'm showing you the story. Isn't that cool, Capo? Also, I wonder how CF's doing here. I'm sure, he's enjoying it too. Oh, 
Okay, Doc, I know I haven't seen you in a few months, but I'm pretty sure this isn't your shoe. Shoe. Automatic retrieval? In case of my failure to return to the DeLorean within an allotted time, I program the time machine to jump to these four dimensional coordinates without me. As you are well aware, time travel is an inherently risky activity, and despite my elaborate precautions, there's always the possibility that I could land in trouble sometime. And that sometime is now, or then, or uh, maybe later. He's in trouble. Bruh. Marty, you've come to my rescue in the past. Or was it the future? Anyway, I'm relying on you to do it again. Please take the DeLorean back or forward to whatever it is I'm stuck in time. When you get there, I'm sure you'll figure out what to do. Bruh, he's That's so it? confused. Aren't you gonna tell me when that is? Just go to the date specified on the time circuit readout under the heading mark Last Time Departed. Good luck. Right, right. Last Time Departed. Last Time Departed. Uh, oh, jeez. Come on. Come on. Come on. Crap. Oh, great. How am I supposed to find him now? Looks like the time circuits still work. Now I only need to know when to look for Doc. I can use those to enter a date into the time circuits. Once I know when to look for Doc. I can use those to enter a... Once... I can use those. I can use those to enter a. D but that's the display. Why can you use that to enter a display? Yo, what? Okay, wait, never mind. I didn't see that. Yo, it's Einstein. What kind of trouble is Doc in, Einstein? What kind of trouble is Doc in, Einstein? It's a good idea. It's a, it's a good, good idea, idea, but I already know where my dad is. Shut up, man. Marty, ah. Hmm. Bruh, what is the point? This time traveling shoe is my only clue to finding Doc. What do you know about this shoe, Einy? Great Scott! I think he's onto something. Great Scott. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. How's this supposed to lead me to Doc, Einy? I guess there's time for a quick game. Okay, now I'm ready. Uh, Doc's waiting for me somewhere in the past, and I've run out of quarters.
Screw Doc, we out here playing in the arcade, boys. He must perish. <laughs> it is the same thing with any video game. Bruh, you guys only want me to like do any story required things. I, I'm just out here vibing. Looking at stuff, man. I see you sneaking into that liquor store, young man! Bruh. This is just like freaking um, what's her name from, um, Monster Inc. On second thought, I don't really want to go in there. Always watching, Wisowski. What kind of trouble is Doc in, Einie? Why couldn't Doc have invented a dog translator? No, right? Not sure what that. Doc's notebook doesn't belong to them. Doc's notebook doesn't- I'm sorry, Doc's notebook doesn't belong to Einstein? What? What do you say, boy? <laughs> Not sure what that'll- It's locked. Bro, be quiet. Now, let me get a look at you. I'm so mean, on. man. Just as I suspected. Hooligans. Get along now. Scat. Edna Strickland. Maybe there's a connection. See, that's the thing. I'm not sure why I'm here. Einstein here brought me, and... Well? I'm not a hooligan, ma'am. I'm a, a teenager. I wasn't born yesterday, young man. Aren't you the miscreant who skateboards through the town square every morning between 8 and 8.30 in a decidedly unpunctual manner? Uh, Bruh. Yeah? All skateboarders are hooligans. It's a fact. Look it up. Oh, okay. Everyone Google all skateboarders are hooligans. You'll find it. E. Strickland? You aren't related to uh, Vice Principal Strickland, are you, ma'am? Not that it's any of your business, but I'm his sister, Yo. Edna. Oh, and you're one of those McFly slackers, aren't you? Yes, uh, what's old man Strick? I mean, what else has your brother been saying about me? Nothing I couldn't have deduced for myself, slacker. Can you let me in? I've got something to show you. What is it? Let me see. Um, uh, private. It was so am I! 
But the funny dialogue that she says, man. What now? Like, how would she react to a father of my freaking dad? Like, let's see. I don't think that picture's gonna do anything but confuse people. Oh, I can't use that one. Okay, let's use the shoe. Maybe she'll know what it is. A shoe? Now, now what would I want with a... Huh? <gasps> SMH, so impatient. I can't even enjoy the lives. Bruh, <laughs> random person just walking by. This guy's holding his shoe. Just trying to enjoy the game, man. Let me enjoy the game. Sorry, Einstein. long enough um there's a lot of stairs to return the shoe i mean i lost it ages ago you can put it down next to the other one mm, much better so neat and orderly now nah, i suppose you'll be wanting some sort of reward now no i all i've got is tea and candy but... I'm sorry I called you a hooligan. I try not to jump to conclusions, but after all, nine out of ten people in this city are hooligans. It's a fact. Look it up. It's a fact. Look it up. Uh... Have a seat, Sonny. Hey! You kid! Those. My newspapers are in pristine condition and meticulously organized. Not about to let some street punk get jam all over them. Uh, Miss Strickland? Jack! Diane! I know what you're doing behind that tree! Yes? Remember when you lost your shoe? Shoe? That shoe over there. Oh, that shoe! Huh. Hi, what a nosy Nelly! No one likes a busybody, you know. But... Oh, fine, let me think about it. Uh... Yes, I, I remember. I, I lost it in a scuffle with a, a dog. <gasps> when was it? Oh, yes. The day that speakeasy burned down. <laughs> A speakeasy? In Hill Valley? Don't act so surprised, young man. Your generation doesn't hold a copyright on moral depravity, you know. <laughs> Sin has been on the prowl in Hill Valley since the day it was founded. Pretty much. It's kind of sad, to be honest. Like, we'll see you later. More about this character, and it, 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 it is sad, man. The, the tragic lore. Wow, a speakeasy. That must have been wild. Is it true they used to drink gin out of slippers like my grandma said? Don't romanticize the past, young man. Prohibition was a time when gangsters ruled the town while honest citizens quaked in their beds. So where was it? That speakeasy that burned down, I mean. That was ages ago. If you're looking for bootleg hooch. No, I I'm just curious, that's all. I'm a, a student of history. Student of history? My Aunt Fanny. Yeah, you generation of hooligans and slackers could give two ripe things about history. Miss Strickland? Oh, video store! Huh? The speakeasy used to be hidden in plain sight down there in the town square. 
right where that disgusting videotape rental store squats today. So the video store building must have gone up after the speakeasy burned down. The following year, as I recall. We're learning a lot of lore. Also, funnily enough, I was learning, as I was playing this part of the game, coincidentally, in high school history, I was learning about the frickin' Prohibition in the 1930s, so it's kind of funny. Like, how it connects, man. So the video store building must have gone up after the speakeasy burned down. The following year, as I recall. What's with all these newspapers? This is my personal archive. I've got every issue of the Hill Valley Telegraph ever published. Get out. Every single issue? From 1871 to the present. If it happened in Hill Valley, you'll find it in my stacks. I guess somewhere in these stacks there must be an article about the speakeasy burning down. Naturally. I probably wrote it myself. I was quite a reporter back in the day. Any idea what date that article came out? Well, obviously the day after the speakeasy burned down. Doing some stargazing? No, I set my sights on the lower things. Is that... Chip Bruh. Get away from what? Before I call your father. Wait, he has a daughter? What? Who? Who did Biff? Who did Biff marry? What? Yeah, wasn't that in the, the deleted screenplay of the movie or something? I guess somewhere in these stacks there must be an article about the speakeasy burning down. Naturally. Yeah, I probably. Don't let me. Excuse me. Don't let me keep you from your business. Mind if I take a look? Go ahead, dear. Rebuilt in February 1932. So the fire must have happened before then. But when? I need a date. Don't look at me. I'm far too old for you. Bruh. Oh, the candy looks older than I am. Bruh. Man, she keeps it hot in here. I'll be right back with some tea. And don't touch anything. It's like I progressed by accident. See, look, looking around for stuff does, boys. Jeez, they all look like they've got sticks up there. What's that, dear? Bruh. Uh, nothing. Jeez. They all look like they've got sticks up. What's that? Uh, nothing. Bro, that's Mr. Strickland. And some other unspecified people. Um. I'm not leaving until I find Doc somewhere in those newspapers. Yeah, that's peculiar. The water still hasn't Bruh. come to a boil. Stop telling me what to do, man. I don't tell you how to live your life. I know what to do. I'm just checking everything to see what Marty has to say. Okay. Okay, wait. Don't let me. Just gotta freaking boil the cheese noodles again. Gotta boil the burner. It only takes like two extra minutes to check what Marty has to say, bro.
Let's see. Ground broken on sight of former speakeasy. Singer vanishes. Hill Valley Expo delights crowd. Soup kitchen exposed. Here we go. Speakeasy arsonist slain. Legal procedure gave way to old-fashioned vengeance last night when a mob descended on the Hill Valley Police Station. The suspect in the speakeasy arson case, a drifter known as Carl Sagan, was pulled from his... Carl Sagan? It's Doc! Killed by a mob. What's the date? Oh, no. 14th, 1931. Jeez, I gotta rescue him. Carl Sagan. My newspapers! Sorry, Miss Strickland. Uh, no! Let me... You've gotten my history out of order. Oh, do you know how long it'll take to fix what you've done? Oh, get out! Get out! Get out! Help! Police! I'm being attacked by hooligans! Yo, 30s Marty, let's go. Where you been, son? And what are you doing in that getup? It's uh, my uniform. Uh, didn't I tell you? I uh, I got a job at the Model T factory. Yeah. Uh, n no. Never mind. You don't have to explain. I'm sure whatever it is you're up to, you know what you're doing, right? I hope so. Hey, sometimes you gotta go out on a limb for the ones you love, right? Wish my dad had understood that. You won't stay away Dang, too long. that's sad. You'll barely know I was gone. You ready to go, Einstein? I can't leave the DeLorean now. Doc's waiting for me in 1931. I can't leave the DeLorean now. According to this, Doc's gonna get killed on June 14th, 1931. I've gotta go back to June 13th to rescue him. I can't leave the DeLorean. Time circuits, on. Flux capacitor, uh, Fluxy. Fluxy. Okay, if Doc's gonna get killed on June 14th, 1931, I'll just show up the day before and get him out. I hope you know what you're doing, Doc. Let's go! 1931, boys. Gonna explore the dirties. I got the music. I hope I'm not copyrighted for it though. Whoops. Okay. I don't want a Jaws moment happening right now. Test. I should probably upload these streams on like another channel just to check. Just to make sure I don't get striked by them. Like I don't I don't care about monetization, but I don't want to get striked. Hope y'all enjoying the story so far. It's pretty cool. It's basically like three movies worth of stories. Like this is the new trilogy. Like
Einstein, where'd you go now, boy? Oh, dirty Hill Valley. this peculiar character young man excuse me young man who uh, me you're the only man in the street and i'm looking for a man in the street reaction naturally you know about the explosion that destroyed this illegal gin establishment i read about it yeah what's I your opinion of carl sagan the stranger who single-handedly did what the law has been unable to do for 10 long years namely rid hill valley of the scourge of liquor uh There's got to be some sort of mistake here. Doc, I mean, uh, uh, Carl wouldn't do something like that. It's surprising the lengths a person will go to when it's a clear-cut matter of right and wrong. You've got an honest look about you. You do support the side of righteousness, I trust. Her voice is familiar. She kind of sounds like Azula from Avatar, but I don't know. How'd Doc get himself into... Doc? Doc is his nickname. I'm good friends with Carl. You are? Really? Oh, but I need an unbiased opinion for my story. Pretend you don't know him. How would you feel about his heroic act of destruction? You can mark me down as a supporter, the young man said, flashing a boyish yet virile grin. Hill Valley needs more upstanding youths like yourself. Do you have a message for the vicious gangsters who still roam these streets, no doubt plotting to corrupt our citizens with another den of booze, sin, and debauchery? Yeah, tell him, go ahead, make my day. Make your day what? Bruh. Never mind. I'll play around with it and see if I can come up with something better. Mr. May I get your name? Yeah, it's... Bruh. Guys. I, I, I picked Michael Corleone because it's like Sopranos, I think. Or not Sopranos, uh, Godfather. Um... But... There's Harry Callahan and Sonny Crockett. Which one, one, which one do I pick, Phyllis? Which one? We gotta pick a name. It's gonna stick with us for the rest of the game. This is the moment, boys. You guys help decide. No, I'm leaning on this one. Team Corleone, right? Harry Callahan? <laughs> Who's Harry Callahan? No, I hate that name. You know what? No. Corleone sounds Italian. Harry Pot- Ah, Do I have to pick her? I mean, I guess, to be fair, I picked Corleone the other two times I played this, so. Harry Callahan. Thank you for sharing your candid opinions, Mr. Callahan. Edna Strickland, Hill Valley Herald. I know. Yo. I met you back. I mean, I'm familiar with your work. You read my column? How sweet! I know it's just an etiquette column, but I believe it'll lead to bigger and better... Oh! Einstein, no! Down, boy! Is this wretched creature yours? He assaulted me once before! What's got into you? Aggressive dogs must be kept on leash at all times. It's the law. Look it up! Look it up. There is no phone in 1931. Unless you mean just look up the law. Yeah, but the great corn holio is so funny, man. Hey, uh, can I get some moose? What does this look like? A hunting lodge? Huh. 
I'm not so sure I want to stay in a place that welcomes transients. Wow, looks like they used a real shark. You know, I can't believe... Wait, really? They didn't license dolls? Actually, this is the 1930s, so that makes sense. It's Kappa. But hey, look, guys, it's 1930s Jaws. It's the real Jaws. I was thinking, oh, wait, they just used the standing Jaws. But I was like, oh, wait, it's 1930s. Jaws uh, didn't exist. I'm not so sure I want to stay in a place that welcomes transients. You gonna buy anything? Um, no. Then get out, Bob. Bruh, it sounds like they got somebody, like, off the street for that. I guess this is where the speakeasy burned down. How'd Doc ever get mixed up in that? Those lawyers sound kind of nasty. How can I help you, sir? Without any money, I don't really have any business in there. Without any money, I don't really have any business in there. I think that makes it funnier, honestly. See, look at all the fun stuff I can find if I'm looking on the sides. There's funny stuff back in this game that you just miss. Okay, wait. Let me look around here real quick before going to the soup kitchen. Because I know that's important. Hey, how you doing, Einie? Okay, we go into the soup kitchen. Soup. I'm at soup. The soup store. Why are you buying clothes at the soup store? Today's special. Yesterday's soup. That's so funny. Oh, wait. It's that way. Wait. Wait. I want to go to the the courthouse. Is there anything there? Okay, wait. Let me just go to the courthouse. Because I see it over there. The movement's kind of awkward. Where is the jail in 1931 anyway? Okay. According to the newspaper, Doc's not in the courthouse. He's in jail. According to the news... Oh, that's it? Okay, whatever. I don't even have something interesting to say about that. Okay, to the soup kitchen. Let's go. Why does he, like, run like that? The animation is not playing properly for some reason. Bruh. Look at him. Okay, to the soup. Yo, McFly, anybody home?
McFly. Biff? Kid. Grandpa? That's Mr. Tannen to you, Artie. What are you doing out here? Well, I was getting kind of hungry, so I figured I'd come down here for some free soup. Just thought I'd come down for some soup. Think, McFly. The DA's throwing around subpoenas like Babe Ruth. I don't think Ruth's a pitcher anymore. Shut it. If one of those subpoenas landed in the hands of my number cruncher, I'd be in a whole lot of trouble. I could even get sent up the river. You wouldn't want that, would you? Would you? Uh, no, of course not, kid. All right, that's better. What are you looking at, punk? Keep your eyes on the soup, kid. Well? Well, what? What are you still doing here? Sorry, kid, I'll just run back to the safe house. You do that. And McFly? Yes? That hat's too flashy. You better let me hold on to it. Ah. Uh... Now scram! You got it, boss. And don't come out until I give you the all clear. I swear, if even one of you mooks could add two plus two without your fingers, I'd dump that wimp into the lake. Hey! Anyway, I'm off to make myself irresistible. Don't let anyone burn down the shop while I'm gone. Bruh. I like how every tannin is just destined to be an asshole. It's, it's, it's a natural way of life. I better not talk to him. I don't want to mess up his timeline. I'm sure Doc wouldn't want me waving tomorrow's newspaper in front of the natives. I don't want to record them right now. Here, look at your future grandson. I don't think that picture's gonna do anything but confuse people. Come on, they're not gonna have any unique dialogue for that. Doc's notebook doesn't belong. There's no way I'm going to keep that door open without some help. <clears throat> okay. Hey, um, never mind. What are those tables for? We keep a few extra tables around for our... End of the month hobo soirees. Nice rack. Yeah, we got all kinds of Bruh. Uh, the culinary enhancements back there. <laughs> Bruh, that 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 <laughs> That's a perfect reaction video. <laughs> Just Marty saying that. Nice rack. <laughs> yeah, we got Just, let's do it again. <laughs> nice rack. <laughs> yeah, we got all kinds of the uh, color. <laughs> More, uh... Marty's caught in 4K right now. Kitchens for management only, Rummy. Whoa! Something tells me the soup kitchen isn't very legal. I mean, that guy is holding a gun, man. This is the 1930s. It's the Wild West. Anything can happen. Well, not literally the Wild West, but like a lot of stuff could happen. Let's check that phone, see what we can do with... Oh, wait, what are these inscriptions? Those who once ate delicacies are destitute in the street. Cheery. Maybe I should go to the jail and talk to Doc before I start dialing random people in 1931. Oh. 
Okay, I'm not supposed to be here yet, I guess. By the Wild West, I mean, like, not in a literal sense, but, like, like, people, like, for example, people say the 1980s was the Wild West of, like, phone hotlines. Like, like, it was, like, untouched territory and a lot of stuff happened, man. Like, that's what I mean. As an expression. Doc! Marty! Doc! What are you doing here? You sent for me, Doc. I did? When? May 14th, 1986. 1980? <gasps> the automatic retrieval system. Of course. I'd almost forgotten about that. Wow. So what's our plan for getting you out of here? Plan? We don't need a plan. We don't. Not in the slightest. The police picked me up for that speakeasy fire a couple of weeks ago, but the DA hasn't got a case. They're releasing me tomorrow morning. So basically, I traveled 50 years into the past to deliver your car? Sorry about that, but it's so wonderful to see you. We have a awesome. lot of catching up to do. Yeah, you, you might want to hold off on that, Doc. Ray Scott! I'm going to be gunned down by gangsters on the steps of the courthouse! Why would they do that? Guess they didn't approve of my burning down their speakeasy. Very funny, Doc. Maybe now we should come up with a plan? A plan? Right. But what? Yeah, I learned about that in school, bros. Prohibition stuff, and mafias, and like... The depression stuff. Hey, maybe I could talk to the gangsters. Tell them they're about to shoot the wrong guy. I don't think the criminals of this era are going to be very receptive to a complete stranger telling them that their secret assassination plan is misguided, do you? Bruh. Why don't I take the DeLorean, go back in time before you were arrested, and stop you from getting caught in the first place? Don't even think about it. Without my unjust incarceration, the events that sent you into the past might never happen, resulting in a paradox of continuum shattering proportions. Oh no. Jeez, we've been back together for five minutes, Doc. And you're already talking about the end of the universe. I've missed that. Don't be ridiculous, Marty. I was only referring to the end of the universe as we know it. Why don't we tell the authorities? Tell them what? That my friend from the future has proof that I'll be murdered tomorrow? They'd ship us both off to the loony bin. And trust me, you don't want to see the inside of a 1931 insane asylum. Why don't we try to tough it out? Now that we know what's coming, maybe we sneak it past the gangsters with a bulletproof vest or something. That might work with one or two bullets, but from the looks of this article, it appears that I'm going to be mowed down in a hail of Tommy gun fire that rendered the innocent stranger little more than a puffy mass of bones and gristle. Who writes like that? According to the byline, one Edna Strickland. Bruh. I should have guessed. Well, I suppose I could just get some dynamite and break you out of jail. No, no, that's far too dangerous. Not just to me, but to random innocent people in the past. The repercussions could be... <gasps> that's it! What's it? My rocket-powered drill. Bruh. You have a rocket-powered drill? Not yet. I haven't built it yet. You've lost me, Doc. Listen. A few months ago, my 17-year-old self sent in a patent Yo. application for a rocket-powered drill. I abandoned the project after I never heard back from the patent office, but the prototype should be nearly complete. Great, I'll just run back to your lab and... No, no, I said nearly complete. You'll need me to help you finish it. How the hell am I supposed to sneak a half-finished rocket-powered drill into your cell? Not me, me! 1931 me! Wait a minute, Doc. You want me to convince your 1931 self to build a rocket-powered drill to break you out of jail? Precisely! Won't talking to yourself cause, you know, irreparable damage to the space-time continuum or something? It should be fine. I've already invented the idea of the rocket drill. You've just got to go my younger self into finishing the prototype. How am I supposed to convince your younger self to finish the rocket drill? Just. Tell him I need to break his older self out of jail? Absolutely not. Whatever you do, you can't tell my younger self anything about time travel. I won't come up with the inspiration for the flux capacitor for another 24 years. Then what am I supposed to... Just be your charming self. The 
what I remember, I'm a pretty easygoing kid, so enlisting me in a scientific adventure should be a piece of cake. Yeah, I know, right? The lore is awesome in this game. Okay, let's say I go along with this crazy idea. Where can I find you? I mean, uh, the other you. How should I know? It was over 50 years ago. Why don't you go over to the soup kitchen next door and give my house a call? They'll know where to find me. There we go. Soup kitchen. Got it. Just stay away from the soup. It'll cause irreparable damage to your digestive system. Yeah, it's basically Back to the Future 4, 5, and 6, man. We got, like, three sequels I guess I better get here. started. Don't worry, Doc. I'll get you out of here in no time. I'm not worried. Once you and my younger self put your heads together, you'll be unstoppable. They should put this on Switch. I mean, they put, they put Walking Dead on Switch. Come on. That is a 2012 game. Who are you and what do you want? Can I talk to, uh, Carl Sagan? Are you his lawyer? Um, no. Then scram! Bro, the voice acting is so bad for these random people. I think I'll just talk to Doc from out here. Yeah, it's on Steam. Um, I think it's not that much either. Let me, let me check. Hold up. One second. You can get them all for... Oh. You can't. Crying. Okay, well, I guess your best bet is getting it physically. On the 30th Anniversary Edition, which I am not sure is... Uh, I mean, it's not really being sold anymore either, but maybe you can get it second hand for a good price. The 30th Anniversary Edition is the one with the improvements, and, um... Yeah, it was delisted because of Telltale dying. And I guess they never got the license back from Universal to put this game up. Because they did put Walking Dead and other games back, but not this one. Yeah, I guess I got myself a removed game, folks. I mean, I suppose you could also use um, a certain, you know, a certain website to get the game, but... You probably want to get it, because it is back... It is a quality game. Yeah, it's on Xbox One and PS4, but, um, I don't think it'll be as easy to track down physically, because there was, like, an anniversary edition, so... Might be a little bit hard to find, but, yeah, there is physical copies that exist for this game, that you can find somewhere. So, if you can find those, you might want to pick it up. I forgot where the soup kitchen was. It's over here. Yeah, the funny thing is, when I, I um, went to GameStop in, like, 2018, October, I saw the PS4 game, and I have not seen it since. Like, I was thinking, I was thinking of picking it up. But I just, like, for some reason, I didn't get it. Like, because I got the Kingdom Hearts story so far, but not this. And I kind of wish I got both, because I have not seen the game in stores physically since. It was at a GameStop. And it was, like, two years after, and it was probably stopped being sold. So, like, kind of sad about that, but oh well. You can buy it for a good price. It's probably a good idea. <clears throat> okay. Hey, um... Oh, wow. Never mind. Only $25? Okay, I guess pre-owned you can get it. Yeah, that's uh, that has some, like, improved textures and stuff, so it might even be better than this. What you're seeing right now, but I don't know. Brown Rizzles? Uh, hi. Uh, do you know where I could find Emmett Brown? Young Master Brown is currently tending to his clerking duties at the courthouse. Who may I say is calling? Yo. The courthouse? Doc never told me he worked at the courthouse. Brown Rizzo. Bro, 
and run into him. I better not Guy. talk to him. I don't want to mess up his timeline. His name's Guy. That's, it's canon. Also, I, I wish they made a season two to this, because I'm not going to say anything about the ending, but I don't know. Like, I, I want more out of the Telltale Back to the Future, man. I mean, I'm not sure where they would go with the story after this game's been finished, but like, they did a great job, man. And I kind of did, it, it was so good, it left me wanting more. But, in, not in a bad way, because like, Oh, wait, what am I doing? Oh, yeah, the courthouse. But, like, yeah, like, I wanted to, you know. Actually, if you do want more, there is a Back to the Future comic series, which is published by IDW, and there's some issues that retail events of this game. Like, certain story arcs, which is pretty cool. Like, that I have it in comic form. So the game's not entirely defunct as we know it, like, it's not being sold, but hey, you got the comics. If not, okay. Yo! Don't touch those! These are very sensitive legal documents. Nobody is supposed to handle them but sworn officers of the court. Papa, I, I mean, Judge Brown says so. Judge Brown? Doc, uh, nice to meet you. I'm Michael, uh, Corleone. Emmett Brown. But I am a law clerk, not a doctor. Now please get out of my way. I have important business to transact. Now, if you think he sounds familiar, let's just say he's the voice of Obi Wan in the Clone in the Clone Wars, the 2008 one, and he's the voice of Johnny Chess, and he's the voice of Ratchet, and he's the voice of Titus from Final Fantasy. So that is James Arnold Taylor, Taylor doing the voice of Young Doc. I don't need to go in there anymore. Wait, where did he go? Hey, how you doing, Aini? Listen, Emmett, you don't know me, but I'm your friend. I'm not big on friends. They get in the way of work. What's this important business you're up to? It's a legal matter. Very complicated, very abstruse. I need to obtain five sets of initials on every copy of this writ of indemnification before Pop... I mean, before Judge Brown can even think of granting a waiver to the party in the first part. You have no idea what it's about, do you? That's how important it is. Bruh. So, Emmett, what time are you through with work? Depends. On weeknights, Pop sometimes keeps me in the office till nine. Nine at night? But today's Saturday. Right. So I probably won't get off before 10. How about you knock off work early and I'll buy you a beer? Uh, or soda? What do you say? Don't try to tempt me from my duty with sugary beverages. Keeping the wheels of justice turning, that's my one passion in life. Besides, if I left before 8, my pop would kill me. Sounds like you're a little scared of your father. Scared of my father? Pop is the most learned, just, incorruptible judge that Hill Valley has ever seen. The only people scared of Judge Brown are people with a dark secret to hide. And I don't have a dark secret to hide. Come on, Doc. Uh, Emmett, uh, drop the Legal Eagle Act. I got something more important for you to do. Mr. Corleone, I'll have you know that the law is the very mortar that holds society together. And we in the legal profession are like brick masons building the edifice of the future. 
your dad tell you that? Every morning. Wait, did he just call me Corleone? I thought I picked Harry, whatever his name is. Wow, I thought it, I thought it went with my choice, man. I thought that stuck the whole game, Capo. Sounds like you're a little scared of your father. Scared of my father? Pop is the most learned, just, incorruptible judge that he'll value. Listen, I understand you're working on a new invention in your lab. Invention? You must have me mixed up with somebody else. I'm in law. I have absolutely no interest in science. Then of age has to come out less than expectation value of A, right? No, no. What am I missing? Oh, well, no. We're learning some dark family lore, boy, lore, boys. Come on, wait up a minute. You again? Can't you see I'm busy? It's cool because we don't really know anything about Doc's family in the movies. Okay, so you don't want your old man to know. That's fine. Listen, we all keep secrets, but I'm telling you, you can level with me about this science project of yours. The I am not a scientist. Go ahead, ask me what E equals. What does E equal? I have absolutely no idea. See? I don't know where you got your information from about me, mister, but you're wrong, wrong, wrong. Whoa. I don't need to go in there anymore. Bruh, he left me. Will you just give me a chance? Harassment's a federal crime, Mr. Corleone. Come on, you can trust me, Doc. Uh, Emmett, it's your future I'm looking out for. In more ways than one. What are you talking about? I'm talking about you and science. Oh, that word again! If you insinuate I'm a scientist once more, I'll sue you for defamation of character! Or do we take A to stand with Hermidian line operator? But in that case... Bruh, I'm just annoying young Doc. The poor man. Will you just give me a chance? Harassment's a federal... So, to get convinced him, I, I just have to say... Don't... I'm... Uh, uh, you know, I am something of a scientist myself. <laughs> See, I'm sort of in the science business myself. That's why I sought you out. Bruh, he said the same thing. Not that I care in the least because science is the furthest thing from my own area of interest, which is law, but I don't believe you. It's true. I'm shopping. I'm a scientist myself. So tell me something, Mr. Scientist. From Literally said that. From the storehouse of scientific knowledge. Uh, the leg bone's connected to the thigh bone? Amazing. Bruh. Emmett, uh, about don't your... Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't speak it. Wait. What am I supposed to do? Ground Estate. Klondike 51038. Yo, let's show him the notebook. Ruin the this future. has all of her falls in the... Wait, where'd he go? Bruh, this guy's just dashing around. I'll figure it out. I forget what to do here. It's not the notebook, but I want to try it. Just give me a chance. Bruh. Wait, I, I pulled that thing out. Come on, man. Doc's notebook doesn't belong to him. Okay, actually, it does belong to Bruh. him, but not yet. In any event, it's probably a really bad idea to give him a book full of all the things he hasn't invented yet. True. <laughs> Bruh. Come on, man. I don't need a hint. Let me figure it out. I'm a smart gamer. Okay, wait. Bruh, he keeps running around. This is no way. You know what? Sure with that. You know what? Sure. Since he keeps running around. 
Actually, what if I showed him the recorder? I mean... Just give me a chance. Harassment. That looks scientific. Bruh. That looks scientific, right? I don't know. Don't think, Emmett, think. H to the A multiplied Yo. by the inverse of A. H to the A multiplied by the inverse That's right. of A. That's oh. right. I have an idea. What if I show this to Doc? Future Doc. And then he'll figure that out. And then... I can talk to him... And then stuff will happen. That's a good idea. See, I'm a genius. I don't need any hints. Let's go. Big brain time. So, Doc, does this ring a bell? Oh, think, Emmett, think. H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A. H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A. I good oh. grief. Is that me? I sound so... Young? I was gonna say intense. I forgot how wound up I used to get. Yeah, but what are you muttering about? Oh, that's easy. It's Ivanov's conundrum. Just tell my younger self that H equals the Hamiltonian operator. Won't giving him the answer mess up the time stream? Only if it turns out that reality is actually nothing more than a holographic illusion created by the interplay of subatomic particles on a vast two-dimensional membrane. Oh. So... It'll be fine. Oh, okay. We got all these little illusion guys. Fox funny as always. Will you just give me a chance? Harassment. Maybe H equals the Hamiltonian operator. What did you just say? I said maybe H equals the Hamiltonian operator. Yeah. Great Scott! If H is the Hamiltonian, then H to the A multiplied by the inverse of H can only be the same as the expectation value for A. <laughs> That's it! That's the solution to Ivanov's conundrum, the problem I've been wrestling with in my head all week! I'm sure you would have figured it out by yourself in a day or two. The way you figured out how to build that rocket power drill. Where did you learn so much about science? Bruh, I'm from the planet Vulcan. <laughs> Yo. The references, man. I'm, I'm, I read a lot of Jules Verne. Um, I want to say I'm from the planet of Vulcan. That's the funniest. Well, it's like this. If you know about my rocket power drill, then there can only be one explanation. What? You're Come on. From the patent office. I confess I didn't quite know what to expect when I sent the paperwork, but I never expected this. Welcome. I'm at your service. What can I do for you? I don't know if Jules Verne even wrote anything at this time, so that wouldn't make any sense. Can I see your rocket power drill? Of course, of course. Well, the same answer. Naturally, it's just a scale model, but it's nearly operational. I can show it to you, say, first thing in the morning. Nah, that's no good. I need to see a full-size model. <gasps> that's fully operational. <gasps> Tonight. <gasps> Otherwise, we'll have to award the patent to a competing inventor, uh, Dr. McCoy. It can't be done! I mean, it might be possible to construct a full-size working model in that time frame, but I haven't got the main ingredient for the fuel! I'll get it for you. What is it? 190 proof grain alcohol! I don't know. How difficult it is to get a hold of alcohol. Oh yeah, you're right. Especially I now forgot. That blown up the speakeasy. And besides, there's no way I can get off work until I've delivered the subpoena. Part of the investigation into the business affairs of Kid Tannen. Is it vitally important you see that rocket power drill today? Yes. Is it vitally important you deliver that subpoena today? Yes! Listen, I'll help you deliver it, and I'll see to what you get the alcohol you need. <laughs> It'll help you get that drill finished by tonight. Deal? Deal! I remember it in the movie. I just, um, I remember them saying something about tools for in here. You got a subpoena from Grandpa? <gasps> it's Kid Tannen! Yo! Hey, I, I just saw him at the soup kitchen, yelling at Arthur McFly. I'm not surprised. Arthur does the books for his business. What kind of business? 
That's what the DA is trying to find out. Let's go talk to him. No! Why not? Kid Tannen can tell us where Arthur's hiding. Yeah, well, he can also have us fitted for a Chicago overcoat. You have to deliver a lot of subpoenas. Father's always sending me out to do these dirty jobs. He wants to expose me to different kinds of people. All he's exposed me to is a lot of new curse words. Bruh. If serving subpoenas is such dirty work, why don't you just say no? Look, what's the worst thing that can happen to me on this job? You could get shot. Bruh. Yeah, well, believe me, that's nothing compared to what I'll get if I mouth off to my pop. Bruh. <laughs> you could get shot. <laughs> yeah, oh my god, he does kind of look like Waluigi. Any idea where we could find Artie? Not a jot. If only we had a way of tracking him. Bruh, he's right in the soup kitchen, bruh. This subpoena's for Arthur McFly? Have you seen him? We're a few seconds in the soup kitchen, but I think he's gone back in the hiding. Oh, never mind. Brilliant deduction, Einstein. Bruh. <laughs> That's so funny. How about Kid Tannen? What do we know about him? He's loud, he's obnoxious, he's not very bright, and he doesn't like anybody getting in his way. Yep. That's a Tannen, all right. This might be a stupid question, but couldn't you have designed your rocket-powered drill to run on a fuel that, you know, isn't illegal? Illegal? What does law have to do with science? Science has its own laws. You of all people should know that. Bruh. It's like it's like destiny for freaking Doc to use illegal substances for a science experiment. It's, this man's wild. us down at the patent office are wondering, what made you think of a rocket-powered drill? Ah, that'd be Journey to the Center of the Earth by Jules Verne. It was a revelation! Yo. Yeah, that's kind of what we figured. Have you read The Time Machine? H.G. Wells? Not yet, but it's on my list. Bruh. Marty, don't do it. Couldn't you tweak your engine design a little so it runs on something else? Like what? I don't know. Gas, maybe? Gasoline? <laughs> Yesterday's news. You'll see. By 1940, automobiles will all run on pure alcohol. Bruh. We'll get that subpoena delivered. Or my name isn't... Michael Corleone! Yeah. I need to get this subpoena into Arthur McFly's hands, so young Doc will have the time to help me bust old Doc out of jail. Brown Estate, Klondike 51038. I need to get this out of jail. Not sure what that... Hey, uh, Miss Strickland. Oh, hello, Mr. Corleone. Try not to draw any undue attention my way. I'm on the trail of a hot new scoop, as we in the newspaper business say. What's the scoop? I've heard rumors that something shady is going on at the Sisters of Mercy soup kitchen. It's under new management, you know. And, oh, we mustn't jump to any conclusions. Not till the facts are in. I hope to heaven it is just a rumor. That soup kitchen is the front line in the good fight. If it goes bad, what will happen to the Stay Sober Society? Not to mention all the charitable institutions that depend on me for soup deliveries. Did you finish the story you interviewed me for? About Carl Sagan? Yes, but those pig-headed editors at the paper rejected it. They said my story was slanted, and that I was glorifying a suspected arsonist. As if their stories aren't always glorifying the criminal vermin that run this town. This whole thing makes me so mad I could spit. Though of course I never would. There's an ordinance against it, and it's so untidy. These games make him so mad that he can spit. But this nerd, he doesn't forget it. Why can't a turtle swim? Oh, okay. No, no way we can, song. You make hot soup deliveries? It's one of my many small contributions to the good cause. Healthy bodies, healthy souls. Or so one hopes. 
I pick up barrels of hot soup at the kitchen, and I deliver them hither and thither. Hill Valley Orphanage, Heather and St. Francis Xavier Ranch for Unwanted Children, Foggy Mountain Home for the Incurably Insane, Shady Acres Rest Home. Oh, I can barely keep track Bruh. of them all. It's a very big job. What's the Stay Sober Society? You haven't heard of the SSS? They do the most marvelous work, taking hopeless drunken bums and turning them into former hopeless drunken bums. I'm one of the founding members. And not to say that I was ever, well, you know. Anyway, we've always met in the cellar of the Sisters of Mercy soup kitchen, but for some reason the new managers don't want us down there, so we're stuck. We've got nowhere to meet. I'm sorry about the way Einstein lit into you back there. I don't know what got into him. Well, I hope you've learned to keep him under control. Yeah, I found someone to keep him distracted. Very good. Now let's see if you know your multiplication tables. I know a place where the Stay Sober Society can meet. Oh? Where? You can meet in the speakeasy. The one that got bombed last Wednesday. Now wouldn't that be poetic irony? But I'm not sure the building is structurally safe. I know a place where the Stay Sober Society can meet. Oh? Where? Second. You can meet over there in the jailhouse. I think they have an empty cell. No, the jailhouse has bad associations for some of the stay soberites. I oh the Brown residence. You mean Judge Brown's place? Yeah, I happen to be good friends with his son Emmett, and he's told me the judge would love to lend his place out for, you know, good causes like yours. Really? Why, that's the most generous, public-spirited offer I've received in a month of Sundays. Please, tell your friend Emmett we accept. The meeting isn't due to start for a little while, so that'll give our people some time to set up. Hey, I can help you deliver soup, but I donate a lot of time to charities. Oh, which ones? The, um, Mario Brothers. Bruh. Oh, yes. The Italians do so many good works. Bruh. I'll just fix it so I can pick up the barrels of soup. Now hold your horses. Let's not get over eager. I drive the soup. I donate to the town, Mario Brothers, to too. over to an upstart. But if you're well connected with the local charitable institutions, you can let me know when they're running low on soup. As a matter of fact, I do know a local charity that's running low on soup. Oh, who? Okay, sorry, um, was texting my brother. The this one's funny. Children. Perhaps their parents don't want them because they eat too much. Savage. All right, Edna, just think of all those poor unfortunates and hold your nose. Mr. Donnelly! I'm gonna be right back. I'm just gonna brush my teeth, but I'll leave the game and stuff up, so it'll only take me like a minute.
Test. 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 I am back, I think. Test. Okay. Now, let me just take a minute here to, like, put some stuff so I can raise my computer a bit. It'll be a second. Because I got them all. I got pillows to prop it up. Test. This is still working, right? Um. Okay, I just want to stand up for a bit here, so I'm moving everything. Also, if you didn't notice, I'm wearing a Crash 4 shirt. Okay, um, hold up. Test. Test. Okay. I can play the game again. Oh yeah, I should move this mouse over here. Oh gosh, it's a little bit tippy. There we go. Honestly, I probably should have did this from the car, but... Whatever. We're, we have like another hour. So, should be good. We'll get that subpoena delivered. Hope you guys are enjoying the stream so far. Test. I don't know if this is working, actually. Everyone's dead. I can't tell if it's working or not. I must have to check my phone frantically. Ah, crap, I hit my mic by accident. Okay. I don't know if Scoop's here, but... Just wanted to make sure everything's good here. What the hell, Matches? You, you got Kiwi all over my socks! Sorry, boss. Get out of here! How about you? Huh? I'm sitting at a shoe shine booth. You walk up. Either you're here to shine my shoes, or you got a death wish. Which is it? My mistake. Yeah, you're a mistake, all right, meathead. Bruh. Keep an eye on Trixie. That broad's going all squarely on me. You got it, kid. Well, you're gonna stand there like an oaky, or you're gonna shine my shoes? I guess you won't talk about your business. Why not? I got nothing to hide. I recently acquired controlling interest in the Sisters of Mercy soup kitchen. Isn't a soup kitchen an odd line of business for a guy like you? I like soup. Plus, I got a heart as big as all outdoors. Uh, buff a little harder. I want to see myself in the toes. How come you won't let the Stay Sober Society hold their meeting in the cellar of your soup kitchen? We got other plans for that cellar. And it don't necessarily involve staying sober. Bruh. 
You're not even hiding anything. You're so stupid, Kid Tannen. Hey, I represent United Charities of Hill Valley. Can you authorize me to pick up soup from your establishment and deliver it to some very deserving souls? Nah, that Strickland dame's got the charity racket pretty much locked up. No point in giving her competition. Edna Strickland thinks your soup kitchen might not be on the up and up. That dame gets on my nerves. Got a great pair of gams, though. A great pair of what now? Great pair of what? I'm looking for a guy named Arthur McFly. He's my, uh, sort of a relative. Well, he's my employee. And he's very busy today. So when do you think Arthur will be leaving the office? When I tell him he can leave the office. Hey, you missed a spot. Isn't that Arthur McFly's hat you're holding? It was McFly's hat. Now it's my peanut bowl. <laughs> Could I buy Arthur's hat off you? Could you keep your mind on your work, huh, shoeshine boy? I'm hanging on to my peanut bowl. Can I have some peanuts? Why not? I'm a magnanimous kind of guy. Go ahead, knock yourself out. I'm surprised he knows what the word magnanimous means. What the hell is that? Hey, kid! Yeah? What the hell is that? Hey! Gets him every time. Yo! What'd you do? Yo! Why is the game moving like that? Okay, I guess it's not just the game, it's also the cutscenes now. I should fix that. a monkey out of Kid Tannen! Ow! Fix me up! Bruh! He stepped in it. Where do you learn how to move like that? Sandlot football. They used to call me the streak. Get out! I guess Scoop is gone, but maybe I could continue, uh... He'd just have to catch up. I don't know if he'd want to, though. You know, actually, I'm gonna save the game. Because I don't like this animation bug. Okay, I'm gonna hold up. I gotta fix that. Crap. Um, I hope he doesn't mind uh, checking back on the feed to see what he missed.
Wait, is the game back up on the screen? Oh, yeah. Pretty cool how they show the stuff. Why is it all glitching? The heck? I don't like that. Oh, alright. Well, in that case, that's fine. Um. I was gonna keep playing a bit longer, but I wasn't sure how much time you guys had. So that's alright. Dang, what is with the in You know, I need to look this up. Yeah, what is with the animation? Hmm. I guess I'll check that, look that up next stream. This is like a top. Yeah, maybe I should stop trying. Bro, what will happen if I lower the graphic quality? What is the game? Oh no, that is not pretty. Look what I did to this game. This poor game. Let's um, get a close up of Marty here. No, it still does it. Not that I would want to lower the graphic quality, but like, look at this guy. Hey, uh, Miss Strickland. Oh, hello, Mr. Cor. Oh, I'm yeah, Mr. this is this is the Wii version now. You asked me to tell you if one of the local does somebody need a probably what the Wii version looks Let's like. Stay so eating. I got a book. Oh. Where? Low res. Changing the res ain't gonna fix this. And making it full screen didn't do anything. Man, what is it being on a new computer that just messes this game up? I don't remember having problems. Maybe the game's just too old. I don't know. Oh well. I tried. Okay, well, I'll play a bit until, um, 12, and then I'll stop. Oh, hi there, Scoop. Yeah, I'm, I'm wondering about the stuttering problems of this game, but I don't really know. I'll have to figure it out next time. Uh, before I start. I don't know if there's, like, a solution, though. Did you see what happened with the uh, kids in the middle of prohibition. Maybe I should look for some drunks. It was pretty funny, man. They did the funny part again. If not, you can always check like ten minutes of the re like five minutes of the replay later when it's finished. 
But basically, funny hijinks ensued. Um, where am I going? Oh yeah, maybe the soup Oh wait, no. Yeah, what am I doing? My grandpa may be a little wimpy, but he's got great taste in hats. He stole his hat from Kid Tannen. Not sure what that. This hat belongs to my grandfather. Let's go. Plot. The Einstein's our plot device. Hey, honey. Come here for a sec, boy. Hey, boy. Can you find the guy who belongs to this hat? Yeah, I'll just show you a clip of the scene Where's later. Where's he going? Only one way to find out. The animation stuttering is bothering me. Deja vu. If I'm gonna deliver that subpoena, I'll probably have to ring Arthur's doorbell. Probably about like halfway through episode one. There's five different episodes, so it's like pretty cool. There's a lot of game. The episode of story. Help? Um, never mind. Thanks for bringing us here, boy. We'll take it from here. Need any help? Uh yeah? Who is it? It's McFly! Shh, I know! I don't need to push it again. Arthur's already there. Ah, Arthur's already a little freaked out. I think showing him a picture of his yet-to-be-born son could turn him into a vegetable. Bruh. Also, wait, what's my- Someone's playing tricks on me. Was my mic on when I answered your question? Because I, I, I said something, but I'm not sure if I hit the button or not. I probably did, though. I mean, the button on my mic. I turned it on. At school what now? Doc's notebook doesn't belong to them. I think Arthur would respond to that recording. He only listens to Tannen. Oh, that gives me an idea. What if I recorded Tannen? This recorder is so helpful. I'll give it back to him after I give him the subpoena. Me, or I'll tell kid. Bruh. Hello, Zonian. What do you think you're doing? I'm throwing the subpoena. You can't do that. You have to hand it to him. Hey, Arthur, can you come down a minute? Do I know you? We've got something for you. It's a sub subscription to the 
accountant weekly. He won't come out if he knows why we're really here. No, oh, right. <laughs> I'm not interested. And besides, the boss won't let me leave the room. Sorry, some other time. Bruh. What now? It's me again. Please come down. Why? I'm your grand... Uh, mother's great nephew. You mean my second cousin? Yeah. Glad to know you, but I can't leave this building till the boss says so. He's given strict orders. Sorry. Some other time. Going through all the possible answers to see how funny they are. But it's annoying when I have to go through the same animation to do it. It's me again. Why? We represent the law. Bruh. You don't want to go against the law, do you? No, but I don't want to go against Kid Tannen either. And he ordered me to stay put till he gives the word. Sorry. Sorry. Some other time. Okay. Shut up. What now? Bruh. It's me again. Why? We've got some important information for you, but we can't yell it. It's private. Then put it in a postcard and send it. I'm stuck up here till the boss tells me I can leave. Sorry. Bruh. Okay, well, I guess we have to do that. Well, boys, we're going uh, somewhere. Was Marty always, like, skip running like this the whole stream? Because I don't feel like he was the whole time. It's weird. I want to fix that. I'll have to look back on the playback, because I don't remember it being this bad. All the time. Well, well, look who's back! They say rats always return to the scene of the sinking ship. Uh... Get him, Matches! Bruh, Matches. Come down from there, you son of a bitch! Right now! That's an order! Yo. I don't think they're in a talkative don't make mood me right angry, now. Smucko. Get down here I don't and think they're in a talkative the mood right now. You can't get away no that way. easy. We're too Nobody hard to puts get one it. over on Kid Tannen and lives to tell about it. You're dead meat! Einstein! Help! Bruh. Lay off! Get away get from you crazy mutt. Go, go away, dog. We're busy here. Go on, scram. Hey, where'd he go? Wait, I don't want to get away yet. Okay, I didn't know that would happen. Whoops. I'll just go back to him. Easy. Hey. Bruh. Okay, we'll let this plot play out, and then we'll save after this. How about that, CF? Good part to stop that, I think. Because it'll be a little bit of a cliffhanger. Like, what will happen Don't after we get Arthur subpoena? Oh, the longer you stay up there, the longer I'm gonna take... 
Okay, I know what to do. I'm not silly. Oh, yeah, let's give him a photo show to McFly. Eviscerate! Okay. Wait, what did he say? What I, said. I don't think that picture's gonna so do anything. You know good for you, nah, you'll get that. Thing. Let's give him the notebook. Come on. From there. You doesn't belong to I'm a Oh, come guy. on. He never says anything funny. Okay. But my trigger finger's getting it? Okay. We got it. Gee. What do you think you're doing up there, you scrawny Tape recorder. little runt? Get down here right now! Tape recorder OP. Come down from there, you... Hey, I need... Look out, boss. It's it's that crazy mud again. I can't believe you lost him again! What do you think you're doing up there, you scrawny little runt? Who's he calling scrawny? Okay, good time to stop off. Thanks for joining everyone. Awesome game so far. Definitely the best one. And it has a cool story. So, hopefully we'll uh, start tomorrow maybe. If you guys aren't busy. If not, we can just um, pick up like... Um, I don't know. Sometime, like, uh, the day after, I don't know. Whenever you guys are available, pretty much, so, yeah, fun stuff. Thanks for watching, everyone. Glad you're all excited about this game now. Or at least I hope, couple. GG's, everyone. Okay. Bruh, y'all y'all just saying okay in the chat. Okay, see ya everyone. Have a good have a good one. Thank you all.